They can help you at yeah, any time. Yeah, like, uh, you know? I, I was a little confused about that. And so, okay. I, at this point, I'm like, okay, that don't make no sense. But I'm still kind of going with the flow. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm going with the flow, and I'm just not even really. I'm just like, whatever. So, he, um, they sent me to 24-hour observation unit. I go back there. <laughs> I'm under another doctor because the the other yeah. doctor that came to get me is the ER doctor. He even told me that that's something he had never heard. He said, "Oh, you know, I had <laughs> never God. really." Yeah, he he was just kind of like, you know. So we get over there. They give me um, tramadol and toradol mm-hmm. or something. I think I fall asleep. I wake up in pain. You know, crying like you know, I need something else. Yeah. Need something else. They try to give me something that. Still won't work nothing, but I was just like, you know what? I'm going to get through the night. I'm going to check out in the morning. Mm-hmm. I check out that morning, and um, I check out. I'm like, yeah, I got to go. You know, I, I just, just the night was too long, too painful. I was there from 4 p.m. till 8 a.m. Mm-hmm. and hadn't got any medication since 11 p.m. So basically, just sitting there hurting for five hours, mm-hmm. five, six, seven hours. Without anything. No Without anything. No nothing. Heat pack, nothing. Nothing. So I asked for the doctor's name, Mr. Kicker. I asked for his name. And I guess the nurse, the nurse guy who, who was taking care of me uh, was on his team. So he <laughs> gives me Toby Brufi or Brufi or something like that. Name. And so I'm like, Okay, no, I remember him saying something Gil, something Gil. So I'm like, so who was Gil? So I get my discharge paperwork and come to find out he didn't lie about his whole entire name. He gave me a completely false and I'm just saying that to say this. Education, knowledge, knowing about your illness and knowing that just because they hold a doctor title don't mean they gonna always do right by you. So, know what you're doing, know what you're talking about, know what they're trying to tell you. You know, they, they might have studied it or they've been around it, but, mm-hmm. but it you mean, live this. Yeah. It's, you live this, this is what you live on a day-to-day basis. Yeah. So, know what you're talking about. Researchers, look it up. Know what you're talking about. And, um, bottom line is... Don't just let people feel like they can do that, and that's it. I, I, um, I, I'm talking to patient relations, uh, the social worker mm-hmm. here at Duke, talking to patient relations. They, um, they got, they helped me and my family. And then not, not to mention, my wife and kids sat out in the emergency room that night and slept mm-hmm. on those hard chairs with not enough space. She eight months pregnant. And so it wasn't just a long night for me, it was a long night for them, and a long night for them make it an even longer night for me because I'm worried about them. So, um, but, but back to them, the social worker uh, at Duke did a huge job with getting us in a room, getting us fed, getting us, you know, reimbursed for the parking, all that time we spent in there. Oh man, but. I can't say thank you. To, I can't say thank you to Duke and social workers and um, mm-hmm. and all. I can't say thank you to them enough. Yeah, they did what they did was and huge. And that's also part of education yep. because you knew yep. that you can call those people and they can tell you what it is that you need to do. Yeah. So because you have that knowledge, because you're smart, because you have that education, you knew exactly who to call and how the problem was going to be resolved. So that's the thing, people. Like, AJ it hit it right on the head. Stop complaining and do something about it. Educate yourself so that you can fight for yourself. A bit more talking later. You want to yeah. add anything else, AJ? Nope, nope. All I got to say is keep talking about it, keep learning about it, keep being knowledgeable about it, keep educating people about it. And when a situation like that is going on, a lot of the times they hurtful. It's hurtful to know you come for help and you sick and there's people out here who are going to take advantage just because maybe they're ready to get off or don't want to do extra work or they don't believe you. It's actually hurtful. It's more hurtful than it is making you angry. 
because it's like, dang, I, I came feeling like this, thinking, you know, <clears throat> but scratch all that, it's more hurtful, but you can't just let it keep being what it is, mm -hmm. you know, we got to talk about it, we got to speak up, we got to tell about. people, got to do something about it, mm -hmm. because if not, if I let it go, then he do it to the next person, mm -hmm. the next person let it go, then he do it again, mm -hmm. do it again, do it again, yeah. until it's right back to you, mm -hmm. and so... That's all I got to say, man. I love y'all. I love my success people. I love anybody who watching supports and sell that don't have it. I love y'all. I love y'all. Keep on praying. Keep God first. And and the good always gonna work for. I mean, your bad always gonna work for the good. Yep. So, love y'all. Yeah, I hear that. Thank you, AJ. Mm-hmm.